It's a very complicated question. It is complicated. How do parents and teachers best serve the needs of gay and lesbian youth in schools? Assuming the best on both sides and coming together because it's really about the safety of children. Jerry Peterson from Contra Costa LGBT Youth Advocacy Collaborative arranged the event and says it's the first step to get the community and the schools talking together about these issues. Because we all, we all have fears, we all have misinformation and misunderstandings about each other. Let's just find ways to overcome that. People came from as close by as Richmond and El Cerrito to as far as Antioch and Pittsburgh to discuss how to make schools safe, supportive, and accepting for these children. Over 50 people participated in today's event, including students, teachers, guidance counselors, and even some government officials. Peterson says the location, Harding Elementary, made sense. Many people think that these problems only occur in high school, but he says it can start much earlier. 17-year-old Arleano Davila, a member of the Gay Straight Alliance, agrees. I think it's also necessary for our age group to target not just our own age group, but the younger age group because they're the ones that are going to be carrying out these same um, tasks. After a brainstorming session, Peterson says that they've created two coalitions for different areas of Contra Costa County and that they've laid some groundwork to build on in the near future. This is Tiffany Neely reporting from El Cerrito, Richmond Confidential.